today's adventure begins as I have drove my little golf cart, my glorified golf cart, the E2, the Jim E2, as a recording of this. It is Thursday, January 25th, 2024. I'm gonna be taking this out of the celebration bubble today onto Highway 192, an area I refer to as no man's land. Coffee achieved. Now I'm noticing there are no residents or tourists out here kind of congregating, looking at the gators. So I'm gonna guess cool is probably not up in this front section of Lake Orion Heart at the moment. So we'll check, maybe we'll check another time. Welcome everyone. Adam the Woo here, Jacob the Carpetbagger. Are you all? Riding along in tow, or you can say in the passenger seat. We're gonna take a cruise out of the celebration bubble today and out to no man's land, which I refer to, that is Highway 192. Now we can't, ominous. we can't take this on the highway, but we could take it on the sidewalks, any sidewalk in Florida that's wider than five feet. This vehicle is five feet. The sidewalks out there are like seven feet. We can drive on it. So we're gonna kind of do a little Highway 192 exploring. Sounds fun. Anything in particular over in that area that you would like to see? Nothing particular, just maybe see the sights of no man's land. You said you wanted to check on the big orange. Oh yeah, yeah, the big orange. Because you have not been here since the fire 10 months ago. No, I've, I've been here since the fire. You have? Yes. Okay. All right, nonetheless, we're gonna stop here at first, the Celebration Theater, and then we're gonna continue. Are we gonna watch a movie? No, they're closed. Oh. They're closed for 11 years. Oh, nonetheless. Closed for 11 years? 11 years. Oh. No, it's been more than a decade. Between 10 and 12 years, so. Nonetheless, I'm inviting you to join me. Of course, the one and only, Jacob the Carpetbagger. Shall you? All right, was gonna park over here at another electric vehicle spot, but another car, this, this cap is pretty regularly, has taken the spot there where it says electric vehicle parking. Sat Trumbo. All right, so we're just gonna show it from a distance. Jacob jumped out, filmed it real quick. Yeah, maybe one day someone will take this over and open it back up. Pretty cool looking though. Now I've often kind of wondered if I could drive this on the golf course and I thought maybe the golf, maybe that's not allowed, but then this guy's driving a full truck and a boat across the grass here. He's gonna do a little fishing, so I guess, yeah. Maybe, maybe it wouldn't be too frowned upon for me to drive this thing across the course. If someone could take a boat across. All right, we have crossed over at the light, cross 192. I want to check out this former Orlando Sun Resort, which I did a video on, I don't know, maybe half a year ago, that was completely wide open. And now it is even more accessible. In fact, the gate is even open. Before, you could just walk down to the end where the fence ended. But now it seems as if it's just completely accessible. Look, the gate is down. It's been down for about a month. I've been driving by. People pull up in here, ride their bikes through here. So. Jacob and I are just gonna cruise around on the cart. I don't think I'm gonna go in the buildings. I don't think that would be safe, but we're gonna ride, ride around the perimeter and just get a quick little update. Cause I feel like one day this is all gonna be bulldozed. This is like prime real estate through here. Yeah, you can see people have pulled in here. Doing either drag racing or spinning out here, their tires. Oh, look at stuff. Was there fire in the lobby there? Is it just dark? I don't know what's on the floor over there, so I'm gonna back up. Yeah, yeah, so I don't yeah, wanna yeah, drive wanna... through there. Probably broke, broken glass and whatnot. Glass windows that are like completely smashed out. I actually noticed a couple other cars in here too that are kind of close up to the rooms. Probably not. Probably not going to drive over to there though. But yeah, there's like a vehicle over there, an actual active, drivable vehicle. Is that a U? There's a U-Haul back there. Yeah, there's there. a U-Haul uh, back there. There's a truck and a U-Haul. a couple vehicles, yeah, <laughs> including a U-Haul. Interesting. 
Yeah, there's a full-on U-Haul back there. Yeah, people are riding their bikes through here. Yeah. Guy over here with his bike. there down through there yeah it's amazing this whole this whole uh whole structure did not go up in flames you can see how the severe the fire damage is so it says jasmine on top of this building this is the jasmine building All of these like glass windows have been smashed out. It's the laundry and furniture just thrown. Oh yeah, there's fire in there too. So yeah, multiple fires. This is kind of a good start to our 192 adventure today. Mm -hmm. It's a cool looking tree right there. But notice how like on the tree they have surveying markers. They have like the the yellow or, or the orange tape around it. So I think at one time there was a possibility that we're gonna come here and maybe tear this out. Science has something. It always fascinates me too because this is an active resort over there. So if you had the top floor at that resort, that the view would be this really burnt down. Yeah, a drastic contrast to Celebration, which is right across the street there. This is like the the the, the uh, where you check in or huh. all right let's get back out on the sidewalk yeah again the fence has just been knocked down it's been this way for about a month i'll pass by here pretty often and a lot of people up in there some cars a u-haul people are riding their bikes This has been an update on the Orlando Sun Resort. January 2024. I was going to show Jacob this. I was telling him about Arabian Nights, which used to be right over there. The amphitheater had been torn down, and now it's all condos, apartments, or stuff. But they still have the please do not dangle from the statues where the horses no used to be. There's no. no you can see them out of there. Someone has drawn this right so, in the middle. Some of your pentagram there. Yep. But you can see where the horse's feet right there were. Okay, yeah, look. Look, they're even like horse shaped. See the horse statues embedded there. See the Arabian Nights dinner show. So that's a little uh, that's a little relic right there. Look, there's somebody else coming through on a golf cart. Golf carts everywhere around here. It's a golf cart haven. I always like this piece of architecture. This is an old timeshare building. They tried to block off the door over here with this plastic picnic table. The stickers from some of the old Sea World attractions. Oh yeah, old turtle trek. That came by here with uh, Micah like a year ago, and he pointed out these handles here. It looked like old ticket stubs. You can even see the yellow paint still on them there. Pretty neat. This thing's just sitting here empty. It is for sale. It'd be kind of neat to open a shop, like a oh, gift man. shop here, right? Because I like the architecture of it. You got the bulbs up there, the outlet bulbs. Pretty neat. It's got the desk in there still. It's like the got a little active bathroom there if you needed a, yourself or the employees to take a little break. Oh, there's a Bush Gardens poster over there. Kind of zooming in through the window, got a little glare, but there's some retro medieval time pamphlets there. Welcome to medieval times.
Look at the flag still up top there. What flag is that? I think it's a U.S. flag that's not in the best shape. Oh, it is a U.S. flag. Why is it turn, how did it turn black? All right, Infinity Falls, Turtle Trek. Another Medieval Times. A little sticker on the ground there. And evidently this used to be an inter Enterprise rental car place at some point. I guess they still have cars available. Probably not. Now this hotel over here, the Claremont Hotel, I've done videos on it before, in fact, before they started renovating, and I kind of walked around and gave a little tour. But this little gift shop next door, I'd never been in this before. Jacob's also got the same idea I have because there's a very unique sign here at 199 Gifts. We can get a free vacation if we eat at that IHOP. Maybe we should eat lunch at IHOP. <laughs> I love these kind of places though, because sometimes they have like old magnets and postcards that you can't find anymore. It's like stepping back in. They have a Florida towel special. Oh, look at this, this is cool. So here's a layout of Florida. You got the panhandle, Pensacola over here. Then of course you got Tallahassee, Jacksonville, pretty straight up 95, or no, 75 I should say. From here up the turnpike connects with 75. Or no, 95, Jacksonville's 95. Tallahassee would be 75. Why is Tallahassee way the heck over there? Should be right here, nonetheless. Right the Pensacola. Yeah, it's like Tallahassee's not anyway. Nonetheless, <laughs> Orlando there, Cape Canaveral on the coast. Is that Iaga? Kinda artistic rendering there. Orlando, Kissimmee's not on here, but of course Mickey and Minnie there. Let's check it out. Free gift. Okay, did we get a free gift or a free vacation? I'll pick a vacation. Yeah, I always like to look at like postcards. Got the manatees here. These are dollar twenty nine each. Look at this, like old school Orlando Lake Eola, right there. Okay, not really too many vintage postcards, but there's a few. Oh, we got Al here, got Alan, and there's me right there. Adam. Closed down probably about four or five months ago. This whole roadway ended and the gifts for less where they utilize the Walt Disney font there. And they did have a sign on the door a few months ago saying it was under renovation. Now that sign is taken down, which I'm gonna think this place probably is not being renovated. I think it's just gonna kind of sit here empty. All right, Jacob is a connoisseur, if you will, of postcards. So I told about my little secret spot here, the 199 store. Everything is now 249 or less, but it used to be the $1.99 store. This is a treasure trove of 80s and early 90s theme park goodness in here, depending on what's left. Here's their hours. Love this place. Everything 249 right next to Hope Thrift. Postcards here. Body surfing in Florida. You can see someone, the woman's actually surfing on a on that man's body. Look, so. at, look at Shamu right there. Oh, I love this one. It's that Shamu character, Hello from Florida. Oh yeah, these are some cool. Oh, when's the last time you saw these? The cool what era postcard. these bumper stickers are from? These bumper stickers I'll here? Stop procrastinating tomorrow. I'm not sure. These are from the eighties. <laughs> <laughs> The fire alarm's going off. The autograph books. See, this is like a good place to come in. If you go into the parks and you don't want to spend the money at Disney and you want some like retro style stuff, do you have a lot of Disney stuff in here? There's another Shamu there. Take a look over here. They got some vintage, they got the Florida waterway, and they still have, as of right now anyway, this Universal Studios Florida, Alfred Hitchcock's one. Should we be in here? The fire alarm's going off. I apologize, probably really loud from the camera's perspective also. Oh, look, fidget spinners. Alright, we just informed it's a once a year annual inspection. So people just came in. 
that are running all the alarms in the entire complex, that's what it is. No emergency though. It's like full on different alarms in each section. I've been wanting to get in here to just see if there's any remnants of the American Gladiators dinner show for a while. Today's probably not the best day though because the alarms are going off. All right, they got the cones all up here in the parking lot. Something's going on at the big orange. These cones were not here before. They got the oh, they ultra something. boom around the back. Progress is happening at the Big Orange. Just gotta find a place to park this cart. Oh yeah, look at that. Are they doing some painting up there or something? Construction update. It's gotta be painting, right? It's painting. I don't know. Ah, some pressure washing happening. That's what it is. Pressure washing. Yeah, they used to have this in other colors also, but now they just have the straight up orange one though. The world's largest orange. Oh, 92 feet wide, 60 feet high, 35,000 pounds. Oh, look at this. Sorcerer Mickey here on this little notepad. Bubble wand? That's very cool. Ooh, this is neat. I like this little tabs though. You got the Donald tab, the Daisy tab. I like the Gator pencils. Right there. Those are neat. Look at that. The eraser's coming right out of the gator's face. So a high energy bounce citrus ball. I like, no, I want it colored green. You know what? Good. I don't know if I have an Orange World Magnet or not. I'm gonna buy one. I'm gonna buy it. It's good. I don't think I have an Orange World Magnet. I'm gonna buy this. They're fixing it up. Yeah, no. It was great. I'll try one. Camella? Yeah. Right. In the grapefruit family, a little more mild. That sounds good. Oh, that's good. Camella. I would like to browse through some of these pens. See if I can see some unusual country bear pins in here. You got any country bear pins? Did you, did you drop off country, country bear pins? Country bear pins? Don't have any green pins. Mm -hmm. What is this? That's a juicer honey bell. A juicer it's honey bell. making juicing, but they're okay. not the best eating, but they're good. If you like them, they'll give you a bag. Well, there's Jessica Rabbit right there. And figment. All right, I purchased my Orange World Magnet. I'm curious when I get home to see if I still have, if I have one. I don't think I've ever bought one. Now I have a lot of room for my little home gym that I built on the little metal cabinets that I built more than I had on the fridge. So now I'm curious if I have that. If I don't, I'll add that to the collection. And along with the magnet, 
worker here was kind enough to give me a bag of these. Free with the purchase. So it was very nice of him. He was really giving Jacob and I a lot of a lot of the samples. So got these. They're they're I think they're made for juicing, but you can eat them, you can eat them plain too. They're like real small. They're juicing, juicing versions. Alright, right next to the big orange is the flea market here. See the big orange over there. Just gonna pop in here real quick before continuing on. Yeah, the Zoltan. They also got all the gumball machines over here. There's even a love meter and a love doctor. California Speed. This old pinball machine called Comet right here. Like stepping back in time, walking through this 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 flea market. This is an arcade. This place is kind of hidden and like tucked away off the highway. I just wonder how this place makes a profit. It's like a big grouping of massage chairs right over here as well. No one's sitting in them. Hi, Adam. Hey, how you doing? No, we're just looking at these magnets too. Like Delicious desserts, cakes. It's a taco. Tacos, and I guess they just you stick these to your fridge. Yeah, these neck fans. I know there's like different versions. This is kind of more like an old school version. $15, you get like a little neck fan right there that will kind of cool you off in the summer months. Which I can see working, you know, kind of in a necessity when you're here in Florida in the summer. These swan. These swans are geese. Probably geese. Uh, I'd say it's a goose. Combination of both of them. And just for reference, that big building over there, that's where Hope Thrift is and the dollar store and the Rock Church. I think we're gonna head over to Old Town Kissimmee now. We're gonna parallel here to 192 and a seven foot wide sidewalk. Not a lot of people ever use this sidewalk. Very rarely do you see anyone on it. Used to be a drop ride right here where this little restaurant gazebo looking thing is. Now on the weekends, Saturday specifically, they have the Saturday night cruise, which is very, 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 very popular. And it's impossible to find parking out here, which is nice because they have golf cart and motorcycle parking right here. It's a golf cart right there. So they have an established section specifically for golf carts. All right, I have procured a spot right here. It says no slingshots, which I think are like really oversized vehicles. So those are not allowed here, as stated. And I should just also point out, there is plenty of regular parking at the moment. <laughs> I could have just parked in a regular spot. You know what? <laughs> Why not? Yeah, what a difference a weekend is versus a weekday out here. I mean, just look in the comparison to the amount of people that are here on a I would say Old Town probably makes the majority of all their money one day a week on the, on the Saturdays than they do. They probably make more on Saturday than they make the other six days. I have no mathematical evidence for that, but I'm just, I feel like that's a thing. Possibly. And if it's not true, then my apologies. Oh, over in post-mortem, the claw machine over here is out of order. Blame Michael Myers for the claw machine. Oh, Michael Myers over in the corner there, but yeah. Blame Michael. Yeah, this is a one-to-one -one scale of the Annabelle, Annabelle doll from The Conjuring right here. Full size. Oh, there's a little mannequin over here next to this, uh, next to this old classic truck. Look at this gentleman right here, kind of like sitting over here in the corner. Is that is that a Charles Bronson mannequin? Charles I think it's supposed Bronson. to be. I think it's supposed to be Charles Bronson face right there. That's a little Bronson. -y. I'm gonna say that's a old Bronson wax figure or something. Yeah, I, I honestly, I'm gonna say that that's Charles Bronson. That Charles Bronson face has been repurposed into a, a little thing here outside of the the photo place. All right, heading back over. Decided to kind of pop in here to where this showed earlier this is the old uh, I think it was called the roadside inn it was next to the gift shop that had the Walt Disney World font 
roadway in, that's what it was. So this is where the pool was over here. This obviously can't go in there because it's under construction, but that's where the pool, I used to work at a little pool food stand over there back in the late 90s. Now the pool's being built up with another building. I think I'm gonna get a second coffee. It's getting late in the day. It's about 4 p.m. right now. Go to a second Starbucks, double down on the caffeine. Had one earlier this morning and now been out for a while. They have just all these rooms sitting empty. And like the only people that live here, are like at the very front, there's like two rooms that are being utilized possibly by maybe the owner or maybe not by the owner, I don't even know. We kind of dipped in this area back here. It's a lot of condos, it looks like apartments. We'll see like condos, timeshares, things like that. This is kind of close to the Kind of behind this hotel right there is basically the one that looks over into that empty place we started the video at earlier. There's just like a whole row of dozens of condos back in here. A lot of people don't even realize this is even back here. over into celebration now. Cruising along some of the little neighborhoods. All right, made it back home now. I'm gonna check and see if my memory did serve correct. If I did not have the Orange World magnet on here, I don't see it. I don't see the Orange World magnet. So this is your entire magnet collection? This is my entire magnet collection, at least, yeah, unless there's something in a box somewhere that I haven't like undug yet, but. Jackrabbit trading post. I don't see uh, I don't see this one, so I'm gonna I'm gonna add this one to the the magnet station. Yeah, Jacob's probably been to most of these spots too. Yeah, you, the the Unarius. I think I was with you when I yeah, got that. I had one that I put in my hat, and it, it eventually broke off. But I wore it in my hat for a while. Yeah, I remember that place was pretty pretty wild. Oh yeah, Tinker Town, one of the great place. I mean, all these places are awesome. Hot Coffee, Mississippi, classic Tupelo Hardware. Of course, where Elvis bought his first guitar, Pike's Peak. Yeah, and I got all my AP magnets over here too as well. So I got plenty of room to add on more. I got a whole, whole one right there that I could put plenty of them on. All right, there you go, Orange World. One right down, actually I'll put it right here. Another one to the collection. All right, with that, that's gonna do it for today. See you in the next video, the vlog. It's over.